bright duty every student matters in this question a villager itabri has got a plot of land of the shape of a quadrilateral the gram panchayat of the village decided to take over some portion of his plot from one of the corners to construct a health center itabri agrees to the above proposal with the condition that he should be given equal amount of land in lieu of his land adjoining his plot so as to form a triangular plot he had got a quadrilateral shaped plot now if one corner of his land is cut then he wants that an adjoining plot is given so that his plot now becomes of triangular shape explain how this would be implemented for this explanation let me start with this that if i got two parallel lines okay and let us say i draw like this and this what i have given you ab is parallel to dc this is parallel to this okay and these two lines other two lines are non parallel or they can be parallel we are not concerned about these we just know that ab is parallel to dc what can i say about these two areas i can say area of dca that is this triangle is equal to area of this triangle dcb because these lie on same base dc and between same parallel lines ab and dc so these areas are equal if i subtract this common areas from these two equal areas i will get this area equal to this area that is area of aod is equal to area of boc so whenever there is a situation that i have got two parallel lines and two non parallel lines let us say and i draw two triangles like this right these two triangles will have equal areas okay you can prove it like this this is one thing second thing that i want to highlight here is let us say you have got a quadrilateral again i am saying that this is a general quadrilateral i have not given any two lines parallel in this okay let us say this is the diagonal this is quadrilateral a b c d and a d a c is its diagonal now if i draw a line from b parallel to a c okay and i extend d c to meet this line at let us say e now by construction i have drawn this line parallel to this line okay now if i join a with e if i join a with e what can i say about this area and this area will these areas be equal yes because i just explained it to you because ac and be are parallel lines by construction right and these two triangles aec and acb lie on same base ac and between same parallel lines ac and be hence their areas are equal and when you subtract this common areas common area from these two areas you will get this area equal to this area so from this quadrilateral abcd if i cut this much area let me use another color if i cut this much area and add this area to the plot the quadrilateral plot this area will definitely be equal to this area and now this quadrilateral will be converted into a triangular plot right so how will you resolve this situation or how will you implement this proposal is we will consider a plot like this let us say this is itabri's plot a b c d okay then you will say that draw a diagonal ac or you can draw you can try this situation by drawing diagonal bd also this will happen in both the cases this will be true right 
what I have done is I have drawn a diagonal in Itavri's plot diagonal AC now from this corner B I will draw a line parallel to AC so let me write draw diagonal AC then draw let us say BE which cuts DC at E draw BE parallel to AC such that it meets DC at E or you can say in other words draw a line from B parallel to AC which meets DC in at E okay so now this line is parallel to this line and once you do these two steps third step would be to join A and E so now you join A and E okay let me name this point as M this point here now what I suggest or how I will implement this proposal is I will cut this land from Itavri's plot and give him this land in lieu of the land that I marked in green color okay and why would these be equal I have just explained it to you here right so what I will do is I will use this land of Itavri's plot to make the health center and I will give this land to Itavri so that he gets a triangular plot A E B I hope this is clear to you okay now A B C D is a trapezium with A B parallel to D C so let us draw a trapezium first a line parallel to AC line parallel to diagonal AC intersects AB at X and BC at Y so I'll draw a line parallel to AC which intersects AB at X and BC at Y okay prove that area of ADX is equal to area of ACY so what is ADX this area is area ADX and what is ACY if I join these this is ACY okay let me show it using a different color one triangle is this one and another triangle is ACY so this one and what is given is or what we have drawn this line is parallel to this line right and also AB is parallel to DC okay this much we know now see if you join these points C and X what will you have if you look at this carefully triangle AXD and triangle AXC these two triangles lie on the same base AX and between same parallel lines AB and DC these two triangles lie on same base AX and between 
same parallels AB and DC. Hence, their areas will be equal. So, area of triangle AXD will be equal to area of triangle AXC. Right? Now, I need to relate it with area of AXY. Now, look at this. Look at these two triangles. ACX and ACY. Triangle ACX and triangle ACY. After this, you look at these two triangles. These two triangles lie on same base AC and between same parallels AC and XY, right? Hence, their areas are equal. So, I can say area of triangle ACX is equal to area of triangle ACY. Now, you compare these two. You can say ACX, ACX. So, area of triangle AXD will be equal to area of triangle ACY. Hence, area of triangle AXD will be equal to area of triangle ACY. This is what we had to prove. ADX, ACY. ADX, ACY. Right? So, this was just a question where there were two triangles, two set of triangles between same parallel lines and on the same base. For once, I used base AX and for the second set, I used base AC. Okay? Using base AX, I proved that this triangle ACX and triangle AXD, these two have equal areas and using base AC, I proved that ACX and ACY have got the same area. And then by comparing these two, I prove the desired result. Okay. Now these three lines are parallel. This, this, and this one. Prove that area of AQC. Okay, this is triangle AQC. AQC is equal to area of triangle PBR. All right. This is a pretty simple question. If you see, let me write it for you triangle ABQ and triangle PBQ lie on same base. What I am trying to do here is, I will prove that area of this triangle is equal to area of this triangle here. Because these two triangles lie on same base BQ and between same parallel lines AP and BQ. Okay, I will prove it. Then I will prove that area of this triangle BQC is equal to area of triangle BQR because these lie on same base BQ and between same parallel lines BQ and CR. Then I will add these. When I add these, I will get area of triangle AQC equal to area of triangle PBR. So, this is my plan. right? Let us start by writing this. In triangle ABQ and triangle PBQ, these two triangles lie on same base BQ and between same parallels BQ and AP. Hence, area of triangle ABQ will be equal to area of triangle PBQ. Okay? Now, triangle BQC and triangle PQR lie on same base BQ and between same parallels BQ and CR. Hence, their areas are equal. Area of triangle BQC is equal to area of triangle BQR. Now, what I will do is, I will add ABQ and BQC areas. So, area of triangle ABQ plus area of triangle BQC will be equal to area of triangle PBQ plus area of triangle BQR. And what is ABQ plus BQC? It is AQC. So, area of triangle AQC is equal to area of triangle PBR. P 
PBR area of triangle PBR is sum of these two areas PBQ and BQR. Hence proved. Okay. Now diagonals AC and BD of a quadrilateral ABCD intersect at O in such a way that these two areas are equal. Prove that it is a trapezium. Let us see. First thing you should know for a quadrilateral to be trapezium to be trapezium exactly one pair of sides should be parallel. So my aim here in this question is to prove one pair of sides as parallel sides. Let us start by taking this quadrilateral A, B, C, D, draw its diagonals and mark its point of intersection of these diagonals as O. Now area of AOD that is this triangle is given equal to area of this triangle BOC. This is already given and we need to prove that it is a trapezium. Now see area of triangle AOD is equal to area of triangle BOC. If I add this area on both sides what will happen? Area of AOD plus area of DOC will be equal to area of BOC plus area of DOC. Now by adding these I can say that area of ADC is equal to area of DCB which is sum of these areas. right? Once you make this statement now see these two triangles lie on same base triangle ADC and triangle BDC or DCB lie on same base DC and their areas are equal. So their altitudes are also equal hence they lie hence they lie between same parallels right that means AB is parallel to DC that means AB is parallel to DC right this was the question. Now in this area of DRC is equal to area of DPC. Okay. So if area of DRC and DPC are equal, these areas are equal. Let me write it here. Area of triangle DRC is equal to area of triangle DPC and they lie on same base DC. Right. Hence, DC and RP are parallel. Their two triangles, their base, bases are equal. So, their heights will also be equal or they will lie between same parallels, right? Hence, DC is parallel to RP. Another thing, area of BDP, area of BDP is equal to area of ARC. Area of BDP is equal to area of ARC. So what you can do is from BDP if you subtract DPC this much area from BDP if you subtract DPC let me subtract area BDP minus area DPC then I will have to subtract DRC from ARC so area of ARC minus area of DRC now these two sides are equal because I have subtracted equals from equals. BDP minus DPC will give you BDC. So, area of triangle BDC is equal to ARC minus DRC will give you ADC. So, it is equal to ADC. And these two triangles BDC and ADC lie on same base DC and their areas are equal hence they have to lie between same parallels. So we can say which are the triangles BDC and ADC. 
B D C and A D C. They lie on same base D C, so they lie between same parallels A B and C D. So A B is parallel to D C. Hence A B C D is a trapezium and D C P R is also a trapezium. A B C D is a trapezium and D C P R is also a trapezium. Because I proved that exactly one pair of sides is parallel in these two quadrilaterals.